Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about how you can clear the NEET 2020 exam with a good rank. This video is for all those students who score average marks in the NEET mock test paper. In this video I will talk about the value of NCRT in the NEET exam. Then I will give you some points to clear the NEET 2020 with a good rank. And at last I will tell you about the topic wise weightage of biology chapters of both class 12th as well as class 11th. Now what is the value of NCRT in NIT exam? Let's come to this topic. In NIT 2019, there were 9% tough questions, 28% moderate questions and 63% were easy questions in section of geology. In section of botany, 13% questions were easy, 55% were moderate and 32% questions were tough. Among the questions which were tough, only 30% were from outside of NCRT. This means out of 90 questions of biology, about 84 questions were just from NCERT. Just picked from a line of NCERT. This is the value of NCRT, friends. Now I will tell you some points to clear NIT 2020 exam with good rank. The first question is, should you take stress? The answer is yes. Stress is key for survival friends, but too much of stress can be detrimental. Without stress, no one can clear an exam, but the amount of stress should be in a limit. Small amount of stress will motivate you for your goal. It helps you to complete your work in a limited time. So friends, take stress in a limited amount. Now the next question is, what is the most effective way to study a hard topic? Friends, this was the problem which I was facing during my NET preparation. The answer is very simple and is very effective. The first method is write notes on paper and stick them on wall. It is a very effective method. I have experienced it myself. I used to write hard topics on paper and put them on wall so that whenever I see them, I would just read them once and by the repeated revision, I remember them within a few days. The second method is try to make a rhythm or song from the topic. For example, this is a paragraph of chapter 12, Mineral Nutrition of NCRT textbook. Every year, 2-3 to three questions are asked from this paragraph only. So I made a rhythm to remember all the macronutrients and micronutrients. After repeating for just 4 or 5 times, you will also remember this for your lifetime. So just repeat after me. C H O N P K S B C A C U C L M G M N M O Iron Nickel and Zinc now let's repeat it fast. C H O N P K S B C A C U C L M G M N M O Iron Nickel and Zinc. C H O N P K S B C A C U C L M G M N M O Iron Nickel and Zinc. C H O N P K S B C A C U C L M G M N M O Iron Nickel and Zinc. The elements which are underlined are macronutrients and the other are micronutrients. The class 11th NCRT of biology is divided into 5 units. The first one is diversity of living organisms. It has got 14% weightage in the NET exam. The second one is structural organization in plants and animals. It has weightage of only 5%. The third unit is the cell structure and function. It has got a weightage of 9%. The fourth one is plant physiology. It has got weightage of 6%. And the last one is Human Physiology with the highest weightage of 20%. Now let's come to 12th class. The 12th class NCRT of Biology is divided into 5 units. The first one is Reproduction with the weightage of 9%. The second is Genetics and Evolution with highest weightage of 18%. The third one is Biology and Human Welfare with the weightage of 9%. The fourth one is Biotechnology and its application with a weightage of only 4% and the last one is Ecology and Environment with weightage of 6%. If this video was effective for you in any way, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.